quilters, it's Annette at needlepointers.com. Today I am going to show you and tell you about a baby quilt I just finished. I am going to be a great grandmother again and it's going to be a little girl. So I decided a baby pinwheel crib quilt was the perfect pattern to complement the pink and green nursery. Let me tell you a little about the quilt. The pinwheel block used was our free windy pinwheel block pattern. In the description section is a link to the free pattern. It's a double pinwheel block pattern. A double pinwheel is just the combination of two quarter square triangles and one half square triangle sewn into one unit. Four small units are sewn together to make the pinwheel block. AccuQuilt and traditional cutting and sewing instructions are included in the tutorial. The actual pattern for the quilt was featured in the AccuQuilt Go Me Pattern and Idea Book that came with my AccuQuilt Go Me Cutter. I used 24 pink pinwheel blocks and 24 green pinwheel blocks for this cute baby pinwheel quilt. The blocks were sewn into eight rows of six blocks. The blocks were sewn together, alternating each row so that one row started pink and the next row started green. The pinwheel blocks can be made in any combination of colors. After assembling the quilt top, the quilt sandwich was made with flannel as the batting and the backing. Flannel as the batting isn't as thick and heavy. Flannel backing makes the quilt soft and warm. After examining the quilt, the machine quilting technique decided upon was stitch in the ditch with transparent thread in the top and a pink thread in the bottom. To stitch in the ditch, I stitched right in the ditch that's created by the seam. Another way to stitch in the ditch is to stitch very close to the patchwork seam. Stitching in the ditch can be done with a regular presser foot or walking foot. I used a regular presser foot because I was at a quilt retreat when I was machine quilting and forgot to bring my walking foot. If you have followed our video and blog for a while, one of our favorite binding techniques is the flange binding. It frames the quilt with a little extra pop of color. It's really easy, requiring no hand sewing. We have a link in the description to our flange binding tutorial. This darling baby quilt measures approximately 36 and a half by 48 and a half inches. I was able to finish the entire quilt in less than three days from the cutting of the fabric to the binding of the quilt. Hopefully you enjoyed learning about this pinwheel quilt and perhaps decide to make one yourself. Like and share this video. And if you are not a subscriber, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future videos. Help us by sharing our videos on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Visit our website, needlepointers.com, for lots of other free quilting tutorials and free projects. While you are there, sign up for our weekly newsletter so you won't miss new tutorials.